All right, so I'm uh, I'm I'm in a party with a buddy of mine, straight up white. I'm I'm about to uh, do some mods real quick on his profile for uh, Minecraft, just to give you guys an example of how this works out. Now I put my game save on a USB flash drive that's uh, been formatted to work with the Xbox, and then you plug it into your computer. And you download a program called Horizon. So a few of you seen one of my other modding videos. That that was the old school way to do it. But uh, a, a good good buddy, uh, I like to like to watch the videos of on YouTube. O Prize, he's got a modding tool that is just so much better than what I was doing. So I'm gonna show you guys that little modding tool. All right, let me uh, let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. I ain't one of them cool kids. Got a capture card, you know. So <laughs> let me go back to step one here. All right, so when you pull up Horizon, it's gonna come up. You know, it's gonna show all your stuff. So to use just a, a save editing, you just go to games. And it's gonna just have whatever you have in your your flash drive for save games. So you just drop down, go to whatever world it is, whatever map that you want to edit, and you click and drag it over to the big window. All right, so you got these four little windows right here. What you're gonna want to do is go to contents. There's a save game dot that. Boom, right there, that's your that's your information. Right click on it, extract it wherever you want it to go. And what I do is I usually put that game save in the same folder as all my modding equipment or software and equipment. I'm like half awake. So I always tell it to replace the file. Unless, of course, I'm experimenting because I keep my original save on my hard drive. I just make a copy onto the flash drive. So don't screw yourself. I always have a backup. Now, instead of closing this, just leave it. Minimize. Minimize. Now, I got O Prizes Tool. I'm going to open that. Alright, so it's a little program, it ain't, you know, some huge thing, if you try to open it in a big window, you just kind of wasting space. That's about as big as you want to get it, so you can see everything. Alright, so it goes start, open, you find your file, I mean, it's kind of obvious, unless you're really, really bad at stuff like this. Then it's not obvious at all. But so I opened it. Now I've already uh, messed with everything on this game. So if you if you want me to go from a fresh fresh game save to mod, just uh, let me know in comments. But like right here, I I made my own spawn point. I found a location and I just put in the spawn point that's in the settings right here. You can make it uh, never rain in your world, always raining, sunrise, noon, you know, change your timing. You can, you can even add more, th you know, thunder to make it thunder right now, just whatever. Uh, if you took something in creative mode and you don't want it to say creative mode on it no more, you just uh, save your game in survival, even though it still says creative. Save it in survival, then load this up on on this uh, modding tool, and click uh, adventure mode on here. Then when you load it on the game, it'll say that it's survival. But sometimes you have to do it. It's kind of weird. You have to load it after the mod. Go in the game, save it, exit, go back into the game, and then it should be fixed. It's kind of weird how it sets, resets it, but 
uh, as far as players, you can look at people's inventory. So don't always assume that your player one is is weird how this works. It'll sometimes change you around. Like uh, well, it looks like for once I'm actually player one, but okay, like my friend example. My friend straight up white, he was the only other person that joined my world first. So I've only had three people total in my world, but it put him as player three this time. Now, he don't have any equipment, so I can go through this little drag drop box, look for whatever I want. Now, the max I've figured out on here is 255 so far. So, um, here, let me, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so to count, 255 so far, that's the max on everything I've come across. So I'll put 255 diamond helmets. It will stack up, and you can add all these enchantments you want to it. And then you just keep adding armor. probably wondering why I would stack armor but uh, if you think about it if one piece of armor gets broke you don't gotta equip nothing else it's already there but it's a big if I mean you you gotta be taking some kind of damage for that to break So you said your map was gone, right, White? Uh, I swear, I can never remember the numbers of some of these things, though. Alright, so I added a couple items to his, his inventory. For this to work, you have to always click save changes on that player. You don't click another player first. And, and even sometimes it will still, still mess up. So, click back in one of these little boxes again. Go save again. And you should be good from there. Uh, just... I could explain this one, I'll do this another time. And of course my baby's like waking up in the background with our fit. 
Okay, so this is useful too. Uh, this is something like if you want to put mobs for them to spawn in the world somewhere at any coordinates you put, or even villagers, you have to go to this world thing. And if you want it to like be in the overworld, you have to click this and load it. Like it ain't gonna mess nothing up. It'll just ask you if you want to load the dimension. I don't need to right now because I have no need for it at the moment. I've already done it. <clears throat> so that's that's pretty much it on that. Uh, then you save. It's going to try to have you save it somewhere else. Because his mod tool is, is always in beta mode because he's always doing updates. So that's why I always make a backup. Because sometimes it can get corrupted when you do this. Alright, so now I close that. I open Horizon back up. Now we're back here. Still in contents. You go to that. You say right click, replace file. And of course, you know, the save game dot that. Sometimes it's slow, it depends on your computer. Alright, so it replaces that and then click the save, rehash, and resign. That is the part that takes the longest. Alright, when it's done, close that X. Close Horizon completely. And then, of course, eject your little flash drive. Now, I'll show you the gamer or the uh, gamer account on YouTube real quick that you need to look for. Alright, so this is the guy's thing right here you want to look for. He's got the mod tool. This is the guy to go to. Uh, some people are having trouble downloading his mod tool recently, but if uh, anything, you can hit me up and I can email it to you, no problem. Just let me know, leave a comment on this video, subscribe, like, try to help me out. I can help you out, I can do mods for you show you how to email me your game save and I can send it back to you mod it stuff like that just let me know thanks for watching guys